Now, I made a grave error before when I did my first impressions of this video, uh, this video, this watch. And I would call this watch Phoebus, like, oi, boy, Phoebus. It's actually Phoebus, Phoebus. Now, Phoebus is a brand which I hadn't experienced before. I've watched many a review and enjoyed the pieces. And I thought, it's about time I blooming well bought one. And I did, and I, I've been enjoying this watch for a while now. This is my full detailed analysis of this piece. You get to find out everything you need to know. And my final overall thoughts and opinions of where could this watch fit in your collection maybe? And is it worth you splashing out a little bit more on this watch compared to many other watches for similar and often a lot less money? Stick with me and I hope you enjoy this review and I'll see you shortly. So stats and specs, let's get straight into it. This has been sized up for me, my seven inch wrist, which I'll show you on now. Weighs 163 grams. And with those three links still in, if you weren't to size it up for you at all, it'd be 174, so not too heavy. That's good. And then dimensions wise, we're looking at a 41 mil case size here. So it's a pretty comfortable size, not too big, but it would have been nice if it was a tad smaller. I think uh, it's, it's a relatively bulbous design. As you can see, it's 14.1 millimeters thick, but the lug to lug is decent. Even when you include these curving uh, male end links here that protrude out, it's uh, 51.7, including those parts. And the actual case is 47. So it wears well, it really does. It's comfortable, uh, but it is quite bulbous in terms of its thickness in relation to its uh, length, but it's acceptable. It's not, it's not too high. And the percentage of that is taken up by this domed AR crystal uh, sapphire here. You see it, it's, it's sticking up probably a mil and then there's a bit of a dome on it. So that helps elevate it up a bit more, but it's a lovely piece of sapphire in there. It really helps this watch uh, pop. I'm not so sure maybe about the blue AR on this more vintage themed watch. I'm uh, not so sure on that, but anyway, the um, dial size is it's quite small for a watch of this size. It's 29.5 dial. So that's obviously taken up on the inside here. You've squeezed this clever inner rotating bezel. And you undo that by these 6.3 millimeter crowns. This top one is for undoing and you adjust your rotating bezel there. And when you want to lock it in, you just screw it down like that. And that's all loomed as well. You'll see that a bit later, do the full loom time lapse. It's beautiful to look at. And really nice to operate, really smooth. L bit less mechanical in feel as when I first got it and un unboxed it. You'll see, I was all excited about the feel of it. You can really feel it almost ratcheting around, but it's definitely got smoother. Um, so that's a weird thing that it's sort of bedding in a bit for you to bear in mind. This bottom crown here is for your unscrew, gives you the 200 meters water resist. It's got a screw case back as well, of course. And you've got an NH35 movement, hacking, hand winding, uh, so this first one is for the manual wind to top it up if you've not worn it for a while. Uh, next pop out is for the date. And then of course, the last one is for hacking and for time adjust. So really nice screw down crowns, really smooth in uh, their threading action. And you've got knurling on there, which is really nice. And they are signed with those lovely krakens on there. Giant octopuses, I think they are. That's what they are. Phoebus, nice brand. Phoebus, a lovely couple went to... Greece on holiday, I absolutely adore Greece. I just, I miss it so much. I've been able to go obviously because the recent problems in the world, I miss it so desperately. And it's a nice story behind Phoebus. A couple went there and they fell in love with Greek culture, Greek mythology, things like that. And they've effectively started a brand linked to that kind of mythology, effectively Phoebus. Well, it's related to a god, I think god of light and something or other. Uh, check out their info on their website. They do tell the story. It's, it's lovely. It's a nice bit of a backstory that a couple were inspired and, and created a brand and this gorgeous line of products. They're really popular. People do love Phoebus watches. And this is my first one and I'm one of them. I love it. It's gorgeous. Obviously I'm biased because I bought it, but it is fantastic. And I pretty much covered the spec. I mean, as I said, it's the, the case of the watch and everything you get in there is fantastic. It doesn't end there. The bracelet is lovely. Tape is weird. 19.5. Is the width. I, I double checked with the calipers. It's a weird, it starts at 19.5, tapers down to 18, and back up at the mill class, it's 20.5. Double pushers. I would have liked to squid or octopus slash kraken on the back here rather than just Phoebus. It's a bit bland, but you know, that's just my uh, designer input, if you will. Screw links. Uh, lovely, really easy to take in and out. No binding, no snagging, really smooth. And it's 
nice size links as well. So it makes it easy for you to get this to fit you perfectly. This, I think helping having all these extra links, you know, five links and lots of articulation, it really conforms really well around your wrist. Only sort of thing I noticed about this clasp is there's a little bit of play in it. It's a bit clicky and 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 it's weird. It just affects the comfort ever so slightly for me sometimes, but that's just me. Then, um, yes, like I say, C3 Loom. Uh, you'll see a time lapse of that after I've uh, shown you this bit, which you'll also get to find out how good and healthy the movement is in this watch. So I think I've covered all the stats and specs, but let's go into a little bit more detail, a little bit of information about how good is the movement in this exact watch. Then after that, you'll get to see the Loom outdoor section, and then we finish off with my final thoughts and opinions. So see you in a moment. So the NH35 in the Phoebus, it's a pretty good one. The beat error is not perfect, but anything less than 0 0.5 is good. And overall it's barely fluctuates between minus three, maybe up to minus 11, but the amplitude's great. So overall it's running a little bit slow, healthy, everything else. I'm very happy with the movement in this little watch. So happy days. So it's final thoughts and opinions time, guys. So I put this back on my wrist because it's such a comfortable watch. And I do, first of all, like, it's weird. I say it's comfortable, but sometimes it isn't. It's a positive and a negative thing because sometimes it just feels a little bit like it's pushing against the bone there on my wrist. So it depends on, I guess, my wrist, my wrist swelling and contracting, things like that, like it does throughout the day. Most of the time it's comfortable, but occasionally it can just feel a little bit like it's snagging me. And then sometimes this feels a little bit clunky in its feel. It's weird, it engages perfectly, it operates so beautifully, but sometimes there's a bit of play and movement in it. So again, it's another positive slash negative. It's so weird. It's comfortable, uncomfortable. Clasp is fantastic, sometimes not fantastic. Very strange, but it fits me beautifully. And talking about fit, the fit and finish of this piece is stunning. The brushing, the contrast, between the little polished bevel edges on here and the brushed edges, etc., is so smooth and so well done. It's, it's like a watch for double the price, you know, it really is. I've seen a lot of watches worth a lot more than this and have the same, if not worse, sometimes fit and finish. Uh, Tissot's, for example, um, they're great, but not always worth what they charge for them, that's for sure. So it's good as an entry level Swiss watch in terms of its fit and finish. And the details as well, I love these knurled screw down crowns. I love this compressor style in a rotating bezel. Really nice, fun to fiddle with. If you're like me and just the watch, 50% of it is the watch and the other 50% is as a fidget tool to control my anxiety. Um, it's just great. It's the coinage here as well is lovely. And I love this dome sapphire. Maybe not so much on the keen on the blue AR coating. Clear would have been better for me. I don't think it needs to be blue. It clashes a bit with the vintage theme we're kind of going with the gilt and things like that in the black well, i like this red little splash of red you get with automatic and the tip of the second hand that's cool the slightly yellowish faux patina on the loom i i, I think that looks fantastic because it blends in with the gilt effect so that's good i think it adds to it the loom although green and works well with this sort of faux patina colorway etc etc is not as powerful and long lasting as i thought it would be from from phoebus i don't know why i thought 
it would be mind blowing, like a San Martin, for example, but it's, it's okay. I think we're spoiled with some of these watches we get, especially San Martin and Kronos watches. You can get them, the, the loom is so good. So anything that isn't as good as that, you sort of can be a bit mean to it. But to be honest with you, this is definitely good. I don't know why I'm waffling so much about loom. Obviously I care about it so much. Oh, I need to calm down. Anyway, I've said about the details. You know, the, I love the Krakens you get on the back, that beautiful case back, that's just fun to look at. That mean looking octopus on the back. And then the same you get here. So I'll bash the camera, so professional. Um, yeah, I think that's cool. Would have been nice if, I mean, that one's the right way up, you know, at an angle. But nice if this was fully screwed in, it would have been like that. If I was being really nitpicky, it would have been nice if that Kraken was like that and that one was like that. But no, when you screw that in properly, as you do this one, they're all a bit wonky. But, like, oh my God, I'm just being really picky for some reason. I think it's the devils in the detail. They've done really well with the details on this watch, like with the knurling and the coin edge and this lovely gilt thing here and the colouring and all that stuff. Maybe it's drawing me to being a bit more picky with these details, refinements. But overall, it's an extremely comfortable, well-made watch, beautiful fit and finish, nice backstory, Phoebus, set up the brand we went on holiday to greece a country which i adore and that immediately makes me fall in love with phoebus anyway because i just love greece but it, overall it is it's a fabulous watch and I, I would love to know what you think because first video the unboxing and impressions you guys are really interested in this piece and i'm wondering if that interest is still there have, have, have any of you bought one of these have, do you like this colorway there are other options you can get blue you can get um a red one and things like that and they look really nice but i love this look to be honest I think this works better, in my opinion, with this sort of black and gilt effect than the San Martin, which I've also got. If you haven't seen that review, check it out. It's, um, I think this one works better because it's, it's just the bezel and the dial match each other. And it just, it really has got a nice bit of continuity with its design theme. So where does this fit in the collection? Now, if you've got a box full of homage watches, it's nice to, throw in the mix for something not much more than 200 pounds, a watch from a micro brand company, a company that creates their own individual designs. It's still got a great specification. It's made in China, like a lot of the other watches many of you guys buy from AliExpress, but it's been made to a very high standard. I must say it's extremely good fit and finish. No quality control issues that I really would be concerned about even uh, discussing even. Um, maybe the clasp is a little bit unusual feeling sometimes, but it's, it's still really good. I'm being so picky because everything else about it feels great. It feels like a watch worth double the money, honestly. So where's it fit in the collection? I think it's a really good, affordable, dive-style watch that's not an homage. And if you don't like this particular design of watch from Phoebus, the Eagle Ray, you can, there's loads of other options they've got. So thanks for watching my first take on a Phoebus watch. It's overall extremely positive. Not too much to criticize, so happy days. If you've enjoyed this video, thanks so much for watching. I, I, I love sharing what I discover with you guys, and um, I love to read your comments as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.